idea that you equate what people take from different forms of entertainment, how the addiction is the same, and what they're taking from it is, is a certain need that they each have. I've never really heard that connection before between the romantic comedy genre and porn. And I think it's a, a really sharp idea. Was that part of the original conception of the piece? Yeah, that was, that was the beginning of the idea. I, I, don't, I don't know if it's a, an original idea. I think plenty of people have, have said it before, so I won't take credit for it. But, um, but that's just it, yeah, that, that I think uh, different media that we consume give us sort of unrealistic expectations as what life is supposed to be and certainly what love or sex is supposed to be. And, you know, I've worked in TV and movies most of my life and I've experienced this where people say to me, oh, why can't, why can't I have it like that? Or why can't I find a guy who's like that character in the movie? And the truth is, is real life isn't like those simplistic fantasies that you see, whether in a, you know, a Hollywood movie or in a pornography clip or in a commercial for Carl's Jr. Real life is better than that. Real life is so much more complicated and detailed and nuanced, but you'll miss it. You'll, you'll miss all that good stuff if you're, if you're too busy comparing your real life to these sort of simplistic fantasies. I, I think it's, it's very sharply observed, your character, and the, the way she attempts to change the guy she's with, how it's almost like this is a starter kit and now we're going to fix everything that will make him the right guy. Um, how often do you think people do that in real life? I, well, it happens all the time. I'm so guilty of that. It's, it's, you know, I think normal to go into a relationship thinking, um, you know, that you, um, that, you know, there's going to be a few things you can work on, but this person will eventually fit this mold. I mean, it's not necessarily healthy or the right way to approach a relationship, but I think it's very common. And, uh, you know, I mean, that's, I think, because compromise is hard and people don't want to maybe admit how, you know, unwilling they are to change. And, uh, you know, so it's just probably easier for the other person to change <laughs> and become more like them. Um, you know, that's, I think, a, a common, uh, a common um, habit. And, and uh, certainly this character has a lot of conviction and, and uh, you know, I think is as guilty as anybody else. Yeah, you know, I, I sometimes think there's a perception that you do big films for the whatever, the, the cachet or the, the money or whatever, and the smaller films are for the soul. But you guys have both done, I think, very smart versions of the superhero genre. Um, and it, it seems like you really, whatever the material is, uh, does it start with the script? Does it start with the character? What is it that draws you to something? And does scale matter? Does the size of the thing matter? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, to me, the most important thing is uh, the director that I'm getting to work for um, and yeah the scale whether it's a huge you know blockbuster movie like The Dark Knight Rises or a you know a smaller budget movie like uh, Hesher say what's important to me is well what's what's the movie really trying to say what you know what's the point of it and uh, and am I gonna have fun and be kinda creatively inspired doing it and you can find both sides, uh, you know, good and bad in all sizes, I, I would say. I agree. I always am attracted also to the director and their vision. And if I, you know, I kind of need to be, I want to be carried away with their vision and feel like, you know, I have something to contribute and that I'll, you know, want to impress them and want to, you know, kind of have that, like, that inspired inspiring collaboration and uh, you know I feel super fortunate that the that I've gotten to be a part of the Marvel Universe because they do it really well and and um, you know I've worked with John Favreau I've gotten to work with Joss Whedon I've gotten to work with the Russo brothers and now Joss again I mean it's 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 I've really been fortunate enough to do you know if that kind of size of the huge you know scale of production and work with directors that oftentimes work on much smaller, intimate productions and, uh, you know, carry that experience with them. So, um, yeah, I feel like a lucky, lucky gal. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com.